no need to look for parking next time you head to Chase Center. That's right. A new ferry is going to whisk fans across the bay and zip past the traffic backup. KPX 5's Don Ford got a look. Driving into one of the Warriors games or any of the other events at the new Chase Center is just not a good idea. But now you have another option. The ferry. A temporary floating ferry terminal is now in place at Pier 48 and a half. Today, San Francisco Mayor London Breed and friends took a ride to see the new route. Is this the front? Like, it's just back up. Yes. The new temporary dock is located between AT&T Park and the Chase Center behind the Giants parking lot. It will serve ferries from Oakland, Alameda, and Larkspur until permanent docks are completed just a couple of blocks away right next to the Chase Center. From the water, the Chase Center is easy to spot with the flowing lines of the structure. Preseason games are starting, so getting the ferry up and running was a high priority. This is the future of San Francisco, making it possible for people to get around easily. When asked which works better, cars, ferries, or BART coming to the Chase Center, not everyone is on board with the new ferries. BART. How come? Uh, I live close to a BART station. Most of my friends live close to a BART station, and so it's the most effective way to get across the bay. I would use BART, and the reason why I would use BART is because at the, Chase, the new Chase Arena, there's no parking. Man, if you can take the ferry to get anywhere, take the ferry. Yeah. Like, it's such a nice ride. It's peaceful. Like, you don't need to be worried if you get, like, motion sickness. It's not like that. Are you going to go to the Warrior game? No, probably not. The service starts this weekend in San Francisco. Don Ford, KPIX5. And construction on a permanent ferry terminal at Chase Center still needs final permits, but it's expected to be open by 2021.